I'm pretty sure most of you use all of these apps every single day. And while you must be aware of the basic options, there are some settings that you should change right away to enhance your experience with these apps. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from bwom.com and today I'm going to talk about some of the really handy options and settings that you should change in some of the most popular apps out there. Before we start, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Wix.com which lets you create some stunning websites. I'll talk more about Wix at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. Now let's get to the settings. Let's start off with the most popular app out there, WhatsApp. So my phone gallery is filled with these weird good morning and good night photos, memes and a lot of viral videos all thanks to WhatsApp. Deleting all of these photos regularly can be a huge task but fortunately WhatsApp has a setting that saves you all the trouble. In WhatsApp's chat settings, there's an option show media in gallery. Well, just disable it and none of the WhatsApp photos will be saved in the gallery. However, if you want to save WhatsApp photos from a particular person or group, there's a way to do that. You can just go to that person's profile. In my case, Akshay because he sends cute pictures of his dog. Okay, so in the profile, I can just tap on the media visibility option. Here I can just select yes and any media sent by Akshay will be saved in my gallery. It's really handy, right? Let's face it, Instagram can be really addictive. There are times when I'm just scrolling through photos, watching videos and checking out stories endlessly. I know there's the you are all caught up prompt but there's always the explore page to, you know, explore. Well, if you're as addicted to Instagram as I am, and be honest, you probably are, you'd be glad to know that there's an option in Instagram to limit the time you waste on Instagram. There's the your activity option here, which shows you your daily average time spent on Instagram and even has an option to set a daily reminder. I can just set it to 30 minutes, which I think sounds fine. And when my time is up, Instagram will send me a reminder just like this. I can still skip it and keep Instagramming, but at least now I'll be weighed down by some guilt. To be honest, if you have digital well-being features on your phone, you probably don't need this, but digital well-being features are limited to a very few phones, so there's that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this has happened with you. So you probably watched a lame video on YouTube and the next thing you know, your whole YouTube homepage and recommendations is filled with similar lame videos. Well, that kind of sucks, right? The good news is YouTube has a new incognito mode for these lame and even not so lame videos. In the YouTube app, you can just tap on the profile icon where you'll find the option to turn on incognito mode. You can just turn it on and you can now watch whatever you want without getting your homepage messed up. In the incognito mode, your search history and watch history is not saved, so that's great. You cannot use the subscriptions or the inbox tag, but I don't think that's a problem. With the Indian elections coming up, Facebook is filled with random political posts which are usually very annoying and I personally don't like to see. So what do you do when your friend starts posting political views and opinions which you don't want to see? Well, you can always block them but Facebook has a better, more polite option, the snooze option. So the next time you see an annoying post from your friend, you can just tap on the three dots and snooze that person's post for 30 days. This way you can keep your friendship and your sanity. Right now, here's how the Chrome tab switcher looks like on Android. I mean, it's fine, but it's not the most intuitive or user-friendly interface. Well, Google has been testing a horizontal tab switcher in Chrome and it's available via Chrome Flags. In the Chrome Flags page, you can just search for horizontal tab switcher and just enable it. Once you've done that and relaunched Chrome, the tab switcher will look like this. I think this is a lot better than the older UI. A lot of people have been wanting a reading mode in Chrome and well, it's finally here. The reading mode in Chrome is called Simplified View and it's pretty handy. Well, you can enable it in Chrome's accessibility settings and once you've done that, you can just open up any article and you'll see a prompt at the bottom that you can just tap to open up the simplified view of the web page. In the simplified view, there's no distractions or ads which should make up for a better reading experience. Plus, even though it's set to work on supported websites, in my usage, it worked on almost every article I was reading on the web, although it was a little slow to load at times. If you've used Google Maps for navigation, you must have seen the navigation UI switch between light and dark depending on whether it's night or day. Well, I've always preferred the dark UI in the navigation screen. And if you prefer that too, you can force Google Maps to always use the dark UI in the navigation screen. 
In Google Maps navigation settings, you can just scroll down and you'll find the map display option. Here you can just change the color scheme from automatic to night and that's it. The next time you're navigating somewhere, you'll see the dark UI no matter what time of the day it is. In the Gmail app, you've probably seen these swipe gestures, which by default might not be so handy for you. But did you know that you can actually customize these swipe gestures to different actions? In Gmail's general settings, there's a swipe actions option. Here I can just set the right swipe to mark as red or unread and the left swipe to snooze. These are basically the two things I do quite often in Gmail. So yeah, it's pretty handy. There are times when you need to send sensitive information like your bank account details or your ID proof over email, which is honestly not the safest way to go. And that's where Gmail's confidential mode comes into play. In the Compose page in the Gmail app, you can just tap on the three dot menu button and tap on confidential mode. Now you can just set an expiration for the email after which it will self destruct. I can set the email to expire in one day or even five years. Plus, if I'm feeling super paranoid, I can even set a passcode for the email that Google will send to the recipient via SMS. The recipient will receive the email through a link stored by Google, so it should be pretty secure. Notification previews are useful, but not so much when somebody next to you is peeping. Well, not many people know that you can actually hide notification previews in Facebook Messenger. You can just go to Facebook Messenger settings. Here in the notifications and sounds page, just disable notification previews and that's it. Now when you receive a message, its notification or even its chat head won't reveal the details of the message. So all in all, this is really great. Well, those were some great options and settings. There's one more setting that you should change and that's in our very own Bebom app, which if you haven't already installed, you should because it's pretty awesome. Trust me. Okay, so in the Bebom app, there's this dark mode option that you should definitely enable because our app in dark mode looks really gorgeous. So try it out. Now let's talk about Vix.com, our sponsors for this video. Wix is for people who want to create some great website. I mean, it does not matter if you're creating your first website or you're a professional website builder. Wix is for everyone. I tried out Wix to build my website and I did a fairly good job in just a few minutes. Well, with Wix, you can create a business website, a website for your online store, photography, music, events, blogs, basically just about anything. Plus, you get so many templates and advanced tools like Wix videos, Wix Pro Gallery, Wix bookings, etc. So what are you waiting for? Check out Wix from the link in the description down below. Well, those are some app settings that you should definitely change on your phone right away. Well, I personally like the snooze feature in Facebook most, but what about you? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.